Thank you and uh, good afternoon. Uh, so at Standard Chartered, we have recently revised our growth output for Botswana. We raised our forecast to 3.9% uh, year-on-year growth for 2024. That's about one percentage point uh, upward revision. And what really has informed that forecast has been uh, the fiscal package, fiscal stimulus package announced by the government uh, in, the, in the February budget. We know that uh, the diamond sector is facing heightened uncertainty due to concerns around demand on the global level. And we have seen that trans translate into weak growth, uh, particularly in the second half of 2023. However, the countercyclical measures that have been announced in the budget, particularly regarding the development budget, uh, are going to be very supportive for growth. We think that uh, in 2024, the key driver of growth for Botswana will be from the fiscal policy, from loosening government uh, expansionary fiscal policy. And so that really has been a large part in forming that growth upgrade. We also down downgraded our 2023 growth estimate, uh, given the softness that we had seen in the latter half of 2023. But I think regarding the budget, we do think that uh, there are still some execution risk uh, given Bot Botswana's long history of under execution of the development budget and that has been reflective of uh, absorption capacity constraints. We, do, we are aware of you know, policies or measures to try to address this but we still are assuming that there will be some risk around the development budget. Should execution be better than we anticipate then that will certainly pose upside risk to our fiscal forecast. We think we have a fiscal deficit of about 2.3% of GDP is, is, is what we are forecasting for this year. That compares to the government's 2.8% uh, that we had in the budget. As I've said, a lot of that has got to do with our assumptions or our expectations around the development budget. But also on the revenue side, we are a bit more conservative in some of the revenue estimates. Take the VAT, for instance, or non-mineral uh, non-mineral uh, tax receipts. Uh, so that explains some of that difference. 